Welcome back to another episode of JT Invests in You. I'm JT. Today, I want to do a deep dive on the charts for Algorand and give my price prediction for the next 9 to 12 months. It seems there's a possibility we may be nearing the end of this bear market, but let's just look at the technicals and see what they have to say. So here we have Algorand on the daily chart. And as you can see here, we've had quite the fall since about May 5th or so, falling from a high of about 170 all the way to a low of about 67 cents or so. Now I already have a bunch of drawings already set for this chart. I just wanted to give you the bare view before I turn them on. Boom. Now this looks a little crazy, however, I'm going to explain what all of this is. All of these purple lines represent different points of either support or resistance. These green, blue, and red lines represent the moving averages, more specifically the 50-day in green, the 100-day in blue, and the 200-day in red. Now I'm sure many of you heard a couple weeks ago about a supposed death cross. That is a cross of the 50 and the 200 day moving average when the price action is moving down, a cross of the 50 and 200 day moving average when price action is headed up is called a golden cross, which hopefully we will get one of those soon. These yellow lines represent the channel that Algorand has been traveling in basically since September of 2019. It's been reliably in this channel since then. This little red line you see here is the current downtrend that Algorand has been in, and this is the resistance line that we currently have to pass. It looks like we're getting through it a little bit right now, but I wouldn't be so certain about that. Now, what are my predictions on what's going to happen? I personally think it's highly probable that we get some price action like this, where we get rejected from this support from this resistance line and head down maybe to about this support line right here i'm going to change that to red just so we all know the price action and then maybe we see a little bump up right here and then another rejection and then we finish the downtrend onto the bottom portion of this trend line which would be a very strong support line then after that is when I believe we will complete this downtrend and move back into an uptrend. It won't be all, it won't be straight to the moon. We will likely have plenty of resistance along the way. I'm just going to do a quick drawing of what I, or a rough estimate of my thoughts. Now that my horrible drawing is finished, this is obviously a rough estimate, a guesstimate of what I feel like the price action will be like over the next about year or so. I do think we have a high probability of getting close to five to six, at least four dollars between May and July of next year. Obviously don't hold me to that, this is a bullish estimate. If we stay within this channel until then, then we could see it as low as $1.50 to about $2.20, but I have a sneaking suspicion we are going to be on the high end, the upper end of this channel by that time. However, if my prediction and model is correct, that does mean we have roughly another two to three weeks of a downtrend before we take back off. So although it might not be the worst time to buy in now at around 85 cents, if I'm predicting a $5 algo within a year, 
you may be able to get into algo even as close to 60 cents one more time before we have our next leg up now i'm going to repeat one more time this is not financial advice i'm just telling you what i'm seeing with the chart and what my plans are for investing over the next 12 months. I'm going to continue to dollar cost average. I buy in every week, but I also buy in when it hits specific. I'll buy in more than my weekly average when I see it hit certain price levels. Like when, if we go back down and touch this purple line at around 67 cents, I'm buying again. I've bought every single time we've touched this line. In fact, it's been, it's been awesome. And if we touch it again or go below it, you best believe I will be adding more to my position. So that's something to watch out for over the next two to three weeks. On the weekly chart, it's a little congested with these arrows, but on the weekly chart, you can see since Algorand is a new asset, there's only two moving averages instead of three like you saw on the daily. We have the 50 week moving average and the 100 week moving average here in blue. The 50 week is in green. And we've got plenty of data from the 50 week and the 100 week there isn't that much data so it's only this tiny little strip and there's not enough data to create a 200 week moving average which is why it's not there but as you can see this 200 i mean sorry excuse me as you can see this 100 week moving average is still roughly around 50 cents now i don't think we're going to go touch this moving average but i do think we're going to get pretty close maybe by maybe in about two to three weeks this moving average which is around 51 cents will be closer to 55 cents as we complete this downtrend closer to 60 cents which makes sense i mean most assets always revert back to their mean which is why it's always important to look at moving averages to see if we are hyper extended above the averages or below the averages because chances are we are going to come back to those averages so this sort of, as I said, completely aligns with my prediction that in, over the next two to three weeks, we will continue our downtrend, get closer and closer to this moving average before having our leg up and continuing upwards throughout this trend. That's pretty much all I wanted to discuss today. I just wanted to do a quick deep dive on the charts, let you know what I'm seeing in the charts, what I'm looking for. As I said, just a recap, I'm looking for a little bit more bearish action over the next two or three weeks hopefully maybe one more solid buy-in around the 60 65 cent range and then from there over the next 12 months i see us having a rocky path to somewhere between three to five dollars i think the holders of this token are going to be very well rewarded in the long run and i'm super excited for the journey if you like what you saw here in the video, please give it a quick thumbs up. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Check the description for any links to any brokerages I use. Usually there's either free stocks or something you can get just for signing up. I will leave my Algorand wallet address somewhere throughout this video. If you're feeling so generous, feel free to send me a tip. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day or night, depending on when you're watching this. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you.